While well, it's spring quickly approaching, the Crowland County Land Service Department is encouraging residents to prepare for the rainy season by creating a stormwater management plan. The plan is used to help prevent the pollution of our natural resources. Logan Gay has more. In the last three years, Crowing County has approved over 200 stormwater management plans. These plans are created to protect our natural resources from pollutants. It's rain that falls down and it tends to collect on those hard surfaces and also on those hard surfaces may be some fertilizer that you use or some chemicals that were there and then it collects and then it flows down into the water body. To determine whether a stormwater plan or permit is required, the County Land Services conducts a site visit. Once the person looks around, they'll work directly with the landowner to find something that's tailored to their needs and to their property. The fear is that if stormwater is not properly handled, it can affect our lakes and our rivers. It adds nutrients or chemicals to the lake if that water can go directly into the lake or the stream. So what, what we advocate is slowing that water down, let it soak through the ground before it gets to the lake and let Mother Nature do her job of cleaning that up. Because every landowner's property is unique, there are a variety of stormwater treatment options available. Those can influ include berms, rain gardens, different infiltration systems that can help to naturally or artificially guide the water where we want it to go. Stormwater plants can reduce a quarter of a pound of phosphorus from any nearby water body. In Brainerd, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. If a stormwater plan is required, landowners have two years to implement the plan. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.